Dear brothers and sisters, we gather together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. With gratitude, with humility, and with joy, we come before the Lord again. He waits for each one of us. And today as we come before him, we thank him. Lord, thank you for the blessings. We do not focus on what is missing, but we thank you for the many blessings. And in humility, we ask you to help us and first to forgive us. Have mercy on me, O oh God. I am a sinner. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Together we pray. I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And with gratitude, let us all give praise and glory to God. Glory, glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest, highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We include our personal thanksgiving, requests, and intentions. And our collective prayer, Lord, that this pandemic will end soon. Heal our world. Heal our land. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity, if he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. 
See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized, but to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles Lord it over them, and their great ones make authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve as, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Let's ask the Lord to bless us all. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility, with love, and with the heart, and that people listen with the heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, you are there, and God is there. It's amazing po itong modern ways of communication. Imagine we are, we can be watched all over the world. Thank you, O oh Lord, for making this possible. Naalala ko po, when we were, you know, nauso na yung mga cable TV, nung panahon namin, yung TV talagang di roskas. Pag nagbababababa pa yung vertical, bina, ang hirap po, black and white. Pero masaya po mag-TV noon kasi pati mga kapitbahay kami nakikipanood. Nasa labas nga lang, nasa balcony. Wala kami sa orchestra. <laughs> Pero pag sinarado na nila yung kurtina, tapos na po yung show. Mga ganun po ba? You remember those simple times. And I remember, um, there was a time, mga 20 years ago, na uso na yung mga satellite TV. At meron kong nadinig noon, you get this dish, satellite dish, you can get all the channels all over the world. Imagine, ang maganda pa, mura, 4,000 pesos. You can have free access na raw. Eh di naniwala kami. Punta kami sa Raon. Nandun nga, 4,000. Adi, masaya kami nung binayaran na sabi ng kwan. Pero alam niyo, sir, para ma-pick ma up niyo yung satellite na yun, kaya dapat nakadirect yung dish na yan, kailangan ho ng telescope. Yung telescope po ay 20,000 para mahanap niyo kung nasaan yung satellite na yun. Yung pala... Akala namin, wow, freelance na, okay na. Paalaala po ni Lord sa ating ngayon. Wala pong shortcut. No shortcuts, please. Ito pong paalaala niya. Those who want to serve me, those who want to follow me, must take up their cross, must become the servant of all. Kasi po, marami po, ang nangyayari, for example, para makapag-serve, public servant, sino shortcut po eh. Dadaanin sa pera, nakapwesto na, hindi lang sino shortcut, ginagawa pong, uh, ano tawag doon, yung, you, anong English na, you short uh, chains, you short chains the people. Kasi in business service, marami ka namang chains pala na self-service. Mga kapatid, reading the gospel today, I was saying, Oh God, marami pa akong dapat matutunan about true service. For example, the first part, uh, What do you wish me to do for you? And you know, mga... James, John, the sons of Sabedi, came to Jesus. Pabulung pa, Lord, eh, kung pwede lang sana eh. Isa sa amin, on your right, on your left, in your kingdom. Position. Humihingi na ng appointment, hindi pa nakakasunod. Ito po ang napakapangit when we look at service na dapat may position. Actually, you don't have to have a position to do your mission. Sa totoo lang po, marami pong nagsisilbi na napaka-simple na hindi po nadidinig, hindi nakikilala, but they are serving. Today, may I ask you to look into your life. Yung mga taong tumutulong sa iyo, kapatid, tumutulong sa atin, na hindi man lang natin na-acknowledge kung minsan. They are the ones who truly serve. Mayroong ang hugot line, yung doormat sa door. Alam niyo yung doormat, yung apakan, di ba? Sabi niya, mabuti ka pa door. 
ikaw hinihintay, kinakatukan, hinihintay na mapagbigyan. Yung, yung nandiyan ka lang, palagi ka nilang, ikaw ang kanilang nakikita. Ako nandito, inaapakan lang. Inaapak-apakan lang. Pero ang laking serbisyo po ng doormat. Sino mga doormat sa buhay mo, kapatid? People you don't even appreciate many times. Sila po ang dakila. Those who serve quietly, they serve it best. Today, paalala po ni Lord sa atin, focus on the mission, not the position. At dan po ang nagiging dahilan, ito nga po nangyari. O, oh, nadinig ng mga iba. Aba, aba, sip-sip pala itong dalawa. Nagpapalakas. Anong nangyari? Nagalit na siya. Yan na po yung infighting, envy in any organization. Ito na po, pati sa bayan natin. Kasi gusto lahat mag-serve. And see what happens? Divisions. Sana po, let not our positions, our status, <clears throat> become, become an obstacle to true service. Today too, the Lord tells us, Gusto mong maging the greatest, you must be the servant of all. Service. Service. Sa totoo lang po, sa lahat po na nag-file ng COC, Candidate Certificate of Candidacy for 2022 elections. Tapos na po eh. Please remember, learn. Remember again, you are public servants. Public service, hindi po self-service. At hindi po family business. Minsan po, tignan nyo yung mga sasakyan. May mga karatula. I noticed it one time. Paalaala lang po ah. May mga karatula na may mga sasakyan na nakalagay not for hire. Yun. Ang gandang lesson yun. You're not for hire. You're not for the money. Not for the show. Keep that in mind. You are meant for service. Hindi po pera-pera. Ang dami po nagsasabi, anak ko, yung mga walang pera, walang pag-asang manalo sa election. That's what many people think, but I still believe, I still believe the goodness of people. Please don't give up on our goodness and the goodness of our people. Huwag po natin gawiting pera-pera lang ang election na ito. Hindi po. No, please. Let's prove the world that we are made of better stuff. Number two, nakakita na ba kayo nakalagay doon? Public utility vehicle. Yan po, public use. Ibig sabihin, for the use of the public. Open for all. Tapos, mayroon namang nakalagay dyan, um, for, for official use. Also, ay, only pa lang. Pero ginagamit nila kung ano-ano, kung saan-saan. Public, public utility, uh, sa government thing, pero naging personal. For official use only. Marami, dapat ilagay na lang for official use also. Pagkatapos ng family use. Oh, mayroon pa akong nakita po sa tricycle naman. May baboy sa sidecar. Hindi, okay lang. Pero nung tinignan ko yung paratula, ang lagay ay nakalagay, bore for hire. Alam po nyo yung mga male na mga baboy na, you know, for reproduction. Kaya lang, ang spelling, hindi B-O-A-R, nakalagay doon, B-O-R-E, <laughs> bore for hire. Hmm, sabi ko, ang dami yung mga, uh, you know, maraming messages sa atin po lahat. But the one that really struck me most, when I saw on a vehicle, mabagal po siya eh. And the sign was very simple. This too 
shall pass. Ibig sabihin, makaka-overtake din ito someday. But the message is so clear for all of us. Everything is passing. Lahat that we have, yung honor, yung position na yan, kaya mawawala rin yan eh. Nobody stays on top forever. And don't forget our date with eternity. But we have to pass through death. That's where it ends. All roads lead to the grave and beyond. Sisters and brothers, paalaala po, what does it profit you and me? We gain the whole world and in the end, we lose our soul. So mga kapatid, ito pong na- na-realize ko minsan, mayroon kaming reunion sa seminaryo. Wow, parang assembly reunion eh. So, pagkatapos ng after breakfast, picture taking. Lahat kami nandun na picture taking. Nakahilera na, nandun nandun. Ang ganda na. Oh, naka-smile na kami. Nung magkuka na, sabi ni sa, wait, 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 sandali lang. May tumakbo. Pinutol niya yung may brands na nakaganon. Pinutol niya. Nakakasira kasi ng view. Hey, sabi namin, my God, that plant has been there for years, trying to grow. And in one instant, for a five-minute photo opportunity, somebody killed it. Just for a photo op. You know, it hit me hard. Happy ko. Remember, lahat tayo, public servants especially. Do not kill the institutions that were there before you. And will be there long after you are gone. Let's not disrespect them and don't kill the hopes and dreams of people. Wag po sana. We are all just passing by. Please remember that. And the, and the final question at the end of our lives is this. Did I fill the world with love? Did I fill the world with love? Did I make this a better world because I passed by? Anong iiwanan ko when I leave this world? Mga basura ko? Mga sinira ko. Yung ba? Please remember, our life is meant for service. Sabi nga po nila, service is the rent you pay for being in this world. O mga iba dyan, di pa nagre-rent. Di pa nagbabayad. Judith na, Judith. It's time for you. Payback time. Serve this world. Serve the earth. Serve the people. That's our rent. Sana po, mayroon tayong iwanan because we serve. May I honor people who serve quietly, sincerely. First of all, today, the men and the women of the hour are the frontliners and the health workers. Not those who say so many things outside. No sila po. Kung wala po sila, wala na po tayo. So, thank you frontliners, health workers. Maraming salamat po. And all those essential workers... We honor those who sacrifice their lives even so that others may live. That is the key word po sa buhay natin. Sacrifice. Service. Sacrifice. What have you sacrificed? What have you sacrificed? We keep asking ourselves. Mayroon pong kwento ng isang kamag-aak namin, si General Titan Kison. Nung bata raw po siya, ginigising siya ng mama niya ng alas 4 ng umaga para mag-serve sa alas 6 ng umaga na misa. Ang tanong po niya madalas, si bata nga naman, gusto matulog. Mama, bakit po naman alas 6 pang misa, pwede naman ako mag-serve sa alas 8? Ang sabi po ng nanay, Titan, kung Walang sakripisyo, hindi yan serbisyo. Very good question. The service you do if there's no sacrifice, it's not really a service. Kulang. So may I thank people who really sacrifice. Ang dami po, mga magulang, kayo po mga lahat po. And usually, yung mga doormat 
na hindi man lang na-acknowledge, ina-apak-apakan lang. Yan ang tunay na serbisyo. Hindi po yung mga naka, mukha naka, kung saan-saan naka, epal, epal ba tawag doon? The doormat. We honor the doormats, mga kapatid. So, tell me, meron po bang mga naging public servants na naging mas pulubi? Did anybody become poorer dahil naging nagsilbi siya sa gobyerno? I know of many people who really serve sincerely. I salute them too. And I know of one who was a congressman, who was a governor, cabinet secretary, na naging mas pulubi pagkatapos ng service niya. I know him. Anyway, what I'm saying is, goodness abounds. There's how much goodness. Let us not be cynical about love and goodness. And grace, grace is real. We pray for the grace po, mga kapatid. And by the way, let us learn huh, about service. For me, I was a tennis player. And one of the things I wrote about tennis is specialize in good service. Because with service, you have one shot, two shots actually, you have all the time. Wala kang pressure. You, you can really aim. Specialize. It's the best shot. Same in life, mga kapatid. Specialize in good service. Okay na yan. And one of the rules of tennis po is eyes on the ball. You have to see the... Focus on that. Hindi kung saan-saan ka nakatingin. No. Keep your eyes on the ball. And one more thing. Follow through. Hindi yung ginanong lang. You follow through. Importante po yan sa ating paglilingkod. Yung constancy. Stay focused on your goal. You follow through. And don't forget, there's a great umpire who sees everything, who's keeping the score. And all he asks you is that you do your best. And one more lesson from tennis, make it a love game. Love. Same with basketball. Oh, nung panahon din namin, yeah, basketball simply pareho rin po. Focus on the goal, Right? Focus on the goal. At the same time, when you make a shot, follow through. That means follow through. Hindi mo itatapon lang. No, you follow through. And one more thing, basketball. Learn to pass the ball. <laughs> May mga kasami kami namin ng buaya, ang lalayo, nag-shoot na. Parang it was all about it. We are a team. Same with all of us, even public servants. Pass the ball. Pass it on to others. Don't have it all. These are simple things. And then one more thing to, in basketball, I, I realize. Effective po yung fadeaway shot. See that, marami sa atin, forcing through, ganun pala. But when you fade away, you step back and you just take the shot. Hindi yung pasok ka ng pasok. It's when you step back for the new take. That's a beautiful shot also. Well, things we learn. And today, may also honor our missionaries. We say goodbye, talking of servants. Well, Father Rod de la Rosa, SBD, served, served long, 23 years in Brazil. That's where he spent his first years as a priest. Then he served on to Germany. And he served on to Australia another eight years. So this life was full of service. He did a lot of legwork for the Lord. But there's one thing we should not forget. Service, sacrifice, and the other thing is sincerity. <clears throat> SSS na tayo. Service, sacrifice, sincerity. Remember Mother Teresa telling us all, so what if you, you preach well or you did all that, did all that, but did you do it with love? You don't have to do great things, 
but you do small things with much love. Sincerity comes from the Latin word sine cera. Sine means without, cera means wax or masks. Ibig sabihin, truthfully, sincerely. There are those who serve, pero maraming agenda. Ang daming maskara. It's always a good question to ask ourselves, am I serving, am I sacrificing, and am I sincere? S, S, S. Father Rod, thank you. Father Rod was a conferer. But then, there are conferers who, are just, who just belong to the same group. Conferers, yeah. But Father Rod was more than that. He was a brother. Kapatid. And he was a friend. May mga confers naman na friendly, but they're not friends. In other words, he really cared and he showed his care. Ito pong mga kailangan natin in this life. We who serve must serve together as brothers, as friends. And there's one more. You know, we have so much to learn. Marami pa tayong dapat matutunan about true service, sacrifice, and sincerity. Father J. Balyao, SVD. I mean, he brought home Father uh, Ferdi VD, from East Timor. Nandun sila, and Father Ferdi was sick. Very sick. And he wanted to go on. Father J. accompanied Father Ferdi. And Father Ferdi was wheelchair bound. Imagine that. It's a plane from East Timor to Kuala Lumpur. Okay? Six hours layover sa airport, Kuala Lumpur. So, bodily carry niya, ganon. CR, everything. And he did it all because he was a confer and a brother and a friend. And then, next stop, Singapore. Ten hours layover. Dadalawa lang na raw sila sa airport nung pinapatay na yung mga... But they had to wait on the gate. Can you imagine that kind of... He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Remember that song? He took care and brought him to Cebu, finally. Nakarating and stayed on with him. Cared for him until he died. Father, uh, Ferdi died... Um, October 15, ba? was it? Yeah, something like that. At the age of 51. These are examples of true service. Thank you, Paul. To all people who serve truly, who sacrifice and do it all with sincerity. You may never be known, hindi kayo nakikilala, walang, walang broadcast about you, but hey, remember this, your Heavenly Father smiles at you, and you will have your reward. Sisters and brothers, let's continue to grow, and we pray like to Mama Mary, help us Mama Mary, to serve more like you and to sacrifice like you did and do it all with sincerity, with humility, with joy and with love, even in secret and in anonymity. Anong sabi ng doormat sa door? Mabuti ka pa door pinupuntahan, kinakatukan, hinihintay, buksan. Ako nandito, inaapak-apakan lang. Pero, okay lang. Maybe that's how we should all look at our lives. This world will never know or understand. There are many things inside you this world will never appreciate. But hold on to your peace. Hold on to your goodness anyway. The Heavenly Father knows everything. 
He knows. He understands. And the Father is pleased with you. In this Mass, we turn to the Lord again and say, Yes, Lord, we will serve. We will sacrifice with sincerity, with anonymity, with humility, with joy, and with love, like our Blessed Mother. Amen, Lord. Amen. And so we profess our faith and pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten that made consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from the heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again. On the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, who is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the life of the world to come. Amen. With humility and trust, O Lord, we confidently approach you and ask you to hear our prayers. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May Pope Francis, Onesto, our Bishop, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the Church Foster kindness to sustain them in their call to humble service. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May all who hold public office promote unity to bring peace and reconciliation in our land that has witnessed social, cultural, religious, and moral upheavals. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May the spirit of fortitude encourage all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19 as they minister to those who are suffering. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May we, as brothers and sisters in Christ, show compassion and kindness to all especially to those who are gravely affected by the pandemic. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. We ask you, O Lord, to show your mercy and compassion to our sick brothers and sisters and to bring light to our beloved dead. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Father, you are gracious and merciful to all. Hear us as we call upon you today. Do not look on the wrong we have done. But in your mercy, look on our humble and pleading hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this uh, sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of His Holy Church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, you may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. But when your children were scattered afar by sin, with the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself. And the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. So, with all the angels and the saints, we praise you and we thank you as we now pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, Whatever you're going through right now, the Lord Jesus is with you. Blessing, loving each and every one of us. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, broke it and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onestor, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. As we pray for all victims of COVID-19, we pray for frontliners, health workers, essential workers, and all those who sacrifice their lives for others. Bring them and all that departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. May we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life Praise and glorify you to your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours. Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, don't forget, we have a Father to whom we will report at the end of our lives what we have done. Now let us again remember BTS. Believe that you are loved. Trust that you, God will help you and surrender everything, everyone to God's loving will and plan. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil and grant us peace and keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Please don't forget, in our journey through life, don't forget, go the extra mile and extra smile. Let's do that now. Peace to all of you. God bless you all. Mama Mary loves you. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please bow your heads in prayer. Before the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, let's be grateful again that Jesus is with us always and in always. Thank you, Lord. Salamat po. Sorry, Lord. Patawad po. Help us, Lord. Patulong po, Panginoon. We need you. Stay with us. Be with us. You are our hope, our strength, and our peace. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, especially for those who grieve, for those who lost a loved one. Thy will be done, Lord. Thy will be done. 
It's so hard to say, Thy will be done. Especially when you really miss someone dear. But still we say, Yes, Lord, Thy will be done. We thank you for giving us time with this loved one. The beautiful moments and memories. Salamat po, Panginoon. At salamat din po, Panginoon, that we will meet again. Salamat po for the gift of eternal life. Buhay na walang hanggan. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na our loved ones are never gone. They are with you. They are in your heart. In that kingdom where there are no more tears, no more pain, no more sadness, no more problems, no more hurts, no more issues, no more goodbyes. Thank you so much, Lord. Help us to find you in our pain. At sa aming kalungkutan, sana po napapalapit po kami sa inyo. At napapalapit din po kami sa isa't isa. That the death of a loved one bring us closer to you and to one another especially in the family. At sana po magbunga ang kamatayan ng isang mahal sa buhay. A grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, but it bears much fruit. Sana po you become better persons. Sana po, we come closer to you. Until we meet again in the resurrection, dear loved one, pray for us as we pray for you. Please pray for us, we who are still in the valley of tears and fears. Till we meet again in the kingdom of For the Lord reigns forever and ever. Amen and Amen. So, sa lahat po ng mga namatayan o may mga kamag-anak na may sakit, please continue to pray. Let's continue to find God in everything that we are going through. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's bow your heads. And with joy, joy gratitude, humility. Let us all receive the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We shall have the Harana after the Mass. And don't forget, SSS. Serve, sacrifice with sincerity. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Yeah. 